Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Strategic marketing, uh, chapter one. Marketing, creating and capturing customer value. This is our uh, chapter title. Creating to capture value from customer return. Uh, why we create value? We create value to satisfy our customer need or want. In order to capture value in return, this is the marketing process. And this is our project. How to create value? In order to capture value in return, this is a marketing process between creating and the capturing value, we should build and maintain a good relationship with our customer. This is a marketing process, process by which companies create value for customer and also build a strong customer relationship to capture value from customer in return. This is a marketing process. In the process, we should know that our customer is a boss. Customer drive our business. Customer always right and comes first. And uh, without customer, we have not business. No customer means no business. So we customize our customer need to want in order to satisfy him by dividing a market and the targeting of right segment to go after or to serve and differentiate our market offering to create superior customer value and finally position our market offering in a customer mind. <clears throat> what we can market and what we can select in our project. In our project we can market anything. I can market a tangible object, I mean a product, and also I can market a, a service, intangible object. I can market a place, organization, information, ideas, persons, like a political candidate. I can market time, I can market place, I can market even social issue. So we can market anything. Should should to market anything, we should have three condition. Uh, something we offer in a market, it means something. We should offer in a market, and third, that might satisfy a customer need want. Why we market our products or services or our market offering? We market our market offering to attract new customer and keep and grow current customer. I think we should keep and grow current customer first in order to attract a new customer. We cannot attract one new customer while our current customer not satisfied. So our current customer is our golden gate to attract a new customer. Who can attract one new customer while his current customer not satisfied? So our marketing goal is to Keep and give current customer and also attract. What's marketing? Marketing means marketing means uh, customer satisfaction. Offer your customer, offer your customer a market offering by studying the market. Develop a product that satisfying our customer need want. Set a price. Offer our product in a right place and finally deliver our customer positive message. This is a marketing tool or a marketing mix. It's marketing mix. What's marketing mix? Marketing mix is a set of marketing tools that work together to satisfy a customer need to want and the big customer relationship. This is a marketing mix. I mean four P's. Product, price, place, and promotion. I mean we should develop a product that satisfying our customer need to want. Set a right price. Offer our product in a right market, 
in a wide place and also in a wide intensity and finally they were our customers a positive message to inform them maybe to convince them or to persuade them and finally to remind them this is a marketing mix or a marketing tools and also we can call it a marketing function or a controllable factors a controllable factors because a marketing manager can control other factors he cannot control what he should do he should manage his controllable factors to adapt with uncontrollable factors so if our customer changes their taste i cannot change our customer taste but i can change my product taste and if our customer purchasing power decreases, I can produce a poor and poor uh, uh, quality products with a lower price. And I should offer my product in 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 a right place. I mean, where our target customer are. And finally, I should deliver my customer. A positive message they can understand this is a marketing mix marketing mix product price place promotion it's a, a four B's product it's a first B price second B place the third B and the final promotion is the last B. <laughs> what about marketing process? It's a process by which companies create value and build a strong customer relationship to capture value in return. This is a marketing process, creating and capturing value. Four steps to create value and just one step to capture value in return. <laughs> We should understand the market base and customer need want. Step two, we should design a customer driven marketing strategy. So we should construct an integrated marketing program that deliver our customer superior value and satisfaction. Four, we should build a profitable relationship and create customer delight. And for sure, we will capture value. Finally, we will capture value from our customer in return. It's a marketing process. It's a process by which companies create value for customer and build a strong customer relationship in order to capture value from customer in return. This is the marketing process creating and the capturing value between creating and the capturing value we should build and maintain a good relationship with our customer how to build and maintain a good relationship with your customer by delivering your customer superior value and satisfaction value means that they should got benefits more than they Cost and also they should perceive more than they expect. This is a relationship equation value and satisfaction. So, value means benefits more, total benefits more than total cost. Satisfaction means perception. Perception. Our customer should perceive more than he expect. This is a simple model of a marketing process. Understanding the market base and customer needs and want. Two, designing a customer driven marketing strategy. We can simplify it who and how. Who means what is the target segment you will go after and how to serve them. Three, 
preparing an integrated marketing plan and program. I mean a marketing mix, product, price, base, and promotion. Four, building customer relationships. I mean value and satisfaction. How to deliver your customer value and how to satisfy our customer need want. This is a way to build and maintain a good relationship with your customer. They should get benefits more than they cost and perceive more than they expect. And the finally, if we created value for our customer, for sure we capture value from customer in return. Step one in a marketing process, understand Understand the market is and customer need to want. To understand the market base and customer need to want, you should examine five core customer and the market base concepts. We should examine five core concepts. What's the difference between need, want, demand? Two, market offerings. Three, value and satisfaction for exchange and the relationships and the final final markets five core concepts need one demand products and services i mean market offerings value and satisfaction exchange and relationship, I mean exchange relationship concept, and finally markets. This is a core marketing concept. This is a core marketing concept. Concept one, need, want, demand. What is the difference between need, want, demand? Needs, it's something essential, something essential. I need to eat. I need to eat. I need safety. I need clothing. Whatever, it's a physiological need, physical need. But want, it's a need, but shaped by culture and personality. What's want? It's a need, but shaped by culture and individual personality. And finally, what's demand? Demand, it's a, it's a want backed by pouring power. It's a want, it's a want backed, supported, I mean, by a buying power or a purchasing power. So, uh, I can say, I need to eat. I need to eat. Two, I want to eat seafood. I want to eat seafood. And finally, I have the money to eat uh, seafood. I have the money to eat seafood or to purchase the seafood. So, need means something essential. Want means a need, but shaped by culture and individual personality. And finally, demand means a want, but backed by purchasing power. And when we are speaking about a, a need, want, demand, and, and uh, uh, what are the differences between need, want, and demand? We should remember a massive hierarchy of needs. A massive hierarchy of needs. He classified our human needs, or oh, yes, our human needs in uh, five categories. The first uh, uh, phase, or the first category, it's a physiological need. It's a physiological need. Food, water, sex, sleep, whatever. It's a physiological need. A second means a safety need. Safety need. 
served its love, belonging, or family, its social needs, and finding its self-esteem, confidence, achievement, and the last uh, uh, and the highest category, it's a self-actualization. It's a self-actualization. So, Matthew classified uh, our needs into five groups or five levels. Yes, starting with a physiological need, which uh, we are common with animals in this state. And the safety need, it's also, it's a, it's a lower order need. And the third one, it's a love or a social. I think it's a social want, it's not a need. And also steam and self-actualization, it's also a need. Second concept in our marketing in, in our marketing concepts, uh, a second core concept in our lecture today, it's market offering. It's market offering. Actually, our customer needs and wants are fulfilled through market, through market offerings. We are not saying a product, we are saying a market offerings. It's uh, some combination of a product and the service information or experience offered to a market to satisfy a need or want. Maybe your product is a good product or a high quality product or a good product that satisfying a customer need or want. But it's not a matter of a tangible object. It's a matter of a combination. It's a, it's a matter of a combination. It's a matter of a combination of many things, um, such a tangible object and the service and experience and the brand. It's a package. Our market offering. We are not saying a product. We are not. We are not saying a service. We offer our customer. A package and our customer will evaluate also uh, this package. Served customer value and satisfaction. And we said that a customer, if our customer satisfied, he will buy and buy again and tell others about his good experience. And our dissatisfied customer will switch to another competitor. So I should satisfy our customer need the want. How to do that by delivering our customer superior value and satisfaction. Value means the total benefits more than our cost. I mean the customer cost. And the satisfaction means that our customer perceived more than he Exchange relationship, it's uh, one of the five core concepts in a the marketing theory. Exchange relationship. Marketing occurs when the people decide to satisfy need or want through exchange relationships. Exchange relationship means that the act of obtaining a desired object from someone by offering something in return. Huh? This is exchange relationship, and it needs five conditions. Hmm. Five conditions to exchange something with another party. What is this? What's, what's this conditions? One, two parts. Two, all parts have something value. Three, value from the other side. For freedom, freedom, and the five communication. This is a five condition to exchange something with the other party. Defining the market, the market, and defining the market. What's market? 
market means uh, the total actual and and potential buyers of a product or a service going to the second step in the marketing process designing a customer delivery marketing strategy uh, we can simplify it to uh, select your customer or actually who and how what is a customer you will go after what is the segment you will enter uh, what is the customer you will serve and how to serve them and how to serve them this is the second step in a marketing process what customer will we serve and how can we best serve this customer and how can we we serve this customer in the best way this is a marketing management is the art and the science of choosing a target market and building profitable relationship with them so we should we should we should divide a market into smaller segments this is a marketing management this is a marketing management our marketing manager aim is to find attract keep and grow target customer by creating delivering and communicating superior customer value this is a marketing process second step select your select your customer select the customer to serve the company must first decide whom it will serve by dividing the total market into smaller segments of customer i mean the market segmentation and selecting which segment it will go after i mean targeting the target and we should also determine and we should also determine or choosing a value proposition um, what's our promises to our customer the company must must also decide who how how we we already decided who i mean who what's our customer what is the segment i will go after and how means how to serve how to serve your targeted customers a company's value proposition is the set of benefits or values it promises to deliver a customer to satisfy the need to want okay this is a marketing uh, uh, concepts or orientation with the production concept we are focusing on a production issue the second is a product a concept it means that we are enhancing our product and third a saying concept how to say and the marketing concept how to ask your customer and how to how to survey your customer need want and try to satisfy the need you want best and this is a comparison between the saying and the marketing concept for sure it's a different concept the same concept is starting with the, with our factory hmm? focusing on existing products saying and promoting our products and finally gaining profits through sales volume but marketing concept starting with our markets i mean our customer surveying our customer need want and the building a good relationship by developing or constructing or preparing an integrated marketing plan and program and finally profit through customer success and finally societal market societal market it means that there are three consideration 
in our pro in our marketing in our marketing strategies our company need to gain a profit and customer need to satisfy the need to want and our society searching for the society interests i mean human welfare i mean human welfare i mean how to compromise uh, compromise or 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 parts and the forces and the players in a marketing process three preparing an integrated marketing plan and program this is a marketing mix set of marketing tools i mean four piece the firm uses to implement its marketing strategy it's included Product, price, promotion, and base. It is a integrated marketing program, comprehensive plan that communicates and delivers the intended value to choosing. I'm, I'm speaking about marketing mix. My product, my price, my place and the final promotion this is a controllable factor i mean the factor that our marketing manager can control or other factor uncontrollable factors so a marketing manager can control his product how to develop it his price how to set it his pace where he should offer his product and the finally what is the message that he will deliver to his customer for building customer relationship i mean i'm speaking about i'm speaking about customer relationship management or crm crm means the the overall process of building and maintaining a profitable customer relationship by delivering superior customer satisfaction how to do that how to do that by building customer relationship customer perceived value and the customer satisfaction we said customer value and satisfaction what's value means value means that all benefits total benefits more than the customer cost our customer buys from the firm that offers him the highest customer perceived value customer perceived value is a customer evaluation of the difference between all the benefits and all the costs of a marketing offer relative to those of a competing offers i mean that our customer compare our offer value with a competitor's value and searching for the highest perceived and also he's searching for satisfaction how to perceive more than he expect it depends on the product's perceived performer relative to a buyer's expectation if the product's performance falls short of expectation the customer is dissatisfied if a performance a perceived performance matches expectation to the customer is satisfied our customer is satisfied and if performance exceeds a customer expectation our customer is highly satisfied or delighted customer more than satisfied so it's now time to it's time to build and maintain a good relationship a good relationship we, 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 we there there are many changes in the nature of a customer relationship now 
we are trying to deliver our customers superior value and satisfaction. It's a matter of a customer relationship. It's a matter of a partnership. We are partners with our customer. We are not just offering them a market offering that satisfying the need of want. It's a matter of a partnership. And finally, it's time to capture value from customer in return. Creating a customer loyalty and retention by creating superior customer value, the firm creates high satisfied customer who stay loyal and buy more, more means greater than returns for the firm. How to capture value from customer? Customer loyalty and retention, share of market and share of customer, and finally customer equity. Creating customer loyalty and retention, good customer relationship management create customer delight. In turn, the artist customer remain loyal and talk for fervently to others about his good experience and our company and its product. This is a customer A. This is a customer loyalty. Using a customer means using more, me, using a customer means using, using a more than a single sale. Growing share of customer, good customer relationship management can help marketeers increase their share of customer. Share of customer, I mean market share and also share of customer. And finally, building a customer equity. Without customer, we don't have a business. Customer want not only to create profitable customer uh, relationship, but also own them for a life earn a greater share of their purchase and the capture of their customer lifetime value. This is a customer equity. The total combined customer lifetime values of all of the company's customers. Companies should manage customer equity carefully they should view customer as assets that must be, as a company assets that must be managed and maximized. This is a customer equity. Customer equity. I mean that right relationship with the right customer. It it means that we 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 add. A customer asset. We adding, we adding a customer assets. Different type of customers require a different relationship management strategies. This is how to build a customer. Now it's expanded model of a marketing. This is a marketing process. Four steps to create value and one to capture value. Step one, understand the market. I mean a marketing resource and MIS, marketing information system. Design a customer driven marketing strategy means select and, and decide how to serve them. What's your value proposition? Construct an integrated marketing plan and program. It means four Bs, product, price, 
pays and the promotion. I mean pays, but I mean distribution. For build profitable relationship, I mean build a strong relationship with the chosen customer by delivering our customer superior value and satisfaction. And finally, capture value from customer in return. This is a marketing. And this is chapter one. Thank you, my student. I wish you always the best.